Well, hey everybody, it's Ashley. Thanks so much for coming and joining me on my channel again today. I'm thrilled to be introducing you to a brand new product from Altenew, and this is the Paint a Flower. This will be a monthly release, much like the Build a Flower, only unlike the Build a Flower, this is not a layered set and will include an outline image of a floral just waiting for you to paint or color or use whatever medium you see fit. You may also be familiar with the Build a Flower having coordinating dyes with the set. The Paint a Flower, at least at this point in time, does not come with coordinating dyes. So that keeps costs down and this set retails for $15.99 but you can join the Paint a Flower subscription, which immediately sends you and gets you in for the newest uh, Paint a Flower each month for $12.99. So all of that information is in the description if you are interested in perhaps saving a little bit of money. Today I'm going to be painting my Paint a Flower, imagine that. And so I've decided to do a watercolor with me video so that you can see this flower really come to life. I'm doing some no line watercoloring. So for my ink, I'm going to be using the fade out ink by ink on three because I want to make sure that one, I can see what I'm doing and two, to make it a little easier to see on camera, I'm going to ink up this image two or three times just to make sure that I really can see the lines. I've definitely got to get a refill or a new pad because this is running out. I use it so often, um, but I just also wanted to be sure that you could really see what was going on. For my watercoloring, I'm using the Altenew Watercolor 36 Pan Set, and I'm going to be using this sort of blending out technique that I've used before, so I will link a video that has a little bit more in-depth information on how to get this really nice blended and faded look. But just a quick rundown, I'm going to pick up the most pigment with my watercolor brush and apply it just to the base of the flower or the base of the petal, sorry. And then I will dip my brush into some clean water, dab off a bit, and then pull that pigment up the petal until at the very end I have the least amount of pigment. So I go back into my clean water probably about two to three, sometimes four times on each petal just to make sure that I end in a really nice light color. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some music on so you can sort of see this whole thing come together and I will be back in just a minute.
So I'm just finishing up here by adding some white gel pen accents to the very center of the flower on those little stamens, maybe what they're called. Um, but the little uh, pieces in the center of the flower, I like to draw some attention to them and make them stand out a little bit more by adding some white gel pen accents. And I really love the way that this all came together. I hope that you've enjoyed the video. As always, links to all of the products are in the description, as well as the link to the coordinating blog hop, which has some more information about Alta News' newest monthly release, The Paint of Flower. Thanks so much for stopping by, and I will see you again very soon. Thank you. Bye.